everybody. It's it's Saturday. Um, Justin agreed to come up and help again today. We're gonna go flood the pond. We have here a, a tank. It's actually Justin's tank. It's what he uses. He does has a little sugaring operation at the farm, so he uses these tanks to gather his sap. So this is what we're gonna use. Something new. I'll talk a little bit more about it when we get down to the down to the pond. So we'll head on down and see how it goes. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna jump on the back. When we got down to the pond, I decided to take over the driving and put the horses right up onto the bank. This is not a, a road around the pond, it's just a spot where I knew I could put the horses. And I knew our hose was too short, so I figured if we were up here on the side of the pond, we might get a little bit better and more coverage. So we're, the reason we're flooding this pond is it's just a little bit rough. It's skatable, but it's just a little bit rough. So we're pulling this the hose out. It's a plastic hose and it's very stiff and we thought we could just there'd be enough pressure in the tank to be able to push through here and and flow onto the pond but it didn't work quite as planned. We got a little bit of hot water here to open up the valve and then it's trickling out but just not very good. So we realized that wasn't going to work out very good for us. So we decided we better try something different. It's about five below zero this morning, so we thought it'd be a great time to be flooding this pond, but it gave us other complications because of the cold. Your hands are gonna freeze. This is warm. What's warm? The pipe. Why? So we decided we got to unload this water, and we decided to try one more thing. So I had a, a small plastic sled there, and a, a little another piece of plastic. So I open up the valve and we the water ran into the sled and ran down the plastic and onto the pond. Sounded like a great idea but I've done this before with with um, just water hoses and if you leave the water running in one spot on the pond it just basically blows a hole right through the ice and goes down into the pond and doesn't flow over the ice. And that's what was happening today. We tried to push it a little bit with the scraper but it just didn't work out. So we kind of gave up on our idea and just emptied it and went home. And we thought of a better idea, we hope. So we're going to, a couple days later, we tried it a different way. Okay, we're all ready to go. Bank is full of water. Got the generator on. Horses are ready to roll. Just waiting for Justin with the with the pump that we need and the hose. And hopefully it'll work out as we had planned. So I had loaded this tank up over by my dry kiln where the water is. I had a little extra time so I went out and rolled a little bit more of the trail also the blacks today and they're waiting patiently to go to work and i have a little bit of a different setup the trailer that we used last time was really more water than we needed with two tanks and it's just too hard to unhitch them so we actually found a actually bought this tank um, and this is going to work i think a lot better because being on a sled, it won't hurt my trail. Whereas I think we got quite a bit of snow yesterday. It might have hurt my trail towing that heavy trailer with the water on top. But with the sled, it should be a lot better. And the one tank should be plenty of water. It takes forever to fill this tank up though. So I'm gonna let it fill up. And I think I'm gonna hitch the horses, unhitch the horses and go out and roll the trail one more time. We're just starting to gear up for some sleigh rides this weekend and I just was hoping to get the pond nice. So what we're gonna do instead of doing what we did last time, we have a pump and so we could just drop it into the tank and hopefully our hose will be long enough so that we can flood the pond properly. So I will talk more about that when we get down there. So I had time while the tank was loading to hitch onto the roller and go out and roll my trail one more time.
here I'm just rolling around a circle just to pack down my yard. It's better than plowing. We've done a fair amount of rolling this week. We've got quite a bit of snow. I think one storm it was stat scattered out over a couple days, but it was 12 to 14 inches total. Going through the woods, we're just going. Just with you. You ready? Yep. Justin actually had a gas powered pump, so I didn't even need my generator. Mm -hmm. Over this other generator. So as you can see, our pipe does not go to the end of the pond, so we're hoping it's going to have enough pressure from this pump to blow it that far. No. Okay, go for it. Um, but I want to well, hold that and spray. We can, yeah. You can bring it down if you want. Let's see where we're at. Hold it, hold it. No. Huh? It's in a couple feet. Okay. We might have to hold on to that. I don't know. Oh, really? Uh, okay, well, I'll stay right here. So, could you grab that hose then and, and really give it a good spray in? I mean, yeah. So it's less apt to be. Yeah. I don't have the horses tied here. They're usually tied up further by the woodshed. And so because of that and this new noise, I was watching them really close, but they didn't seem to bother. Didn't seem to bother them at all.
Justin, it's going down fast, so spread it out. He's spraying it with his bare hands. That's good. It's not as cold as it was the other day we were out here. That wouldn't have been very doable. I'm up here on the tank holding the pipe in place. We have other times cut a hole in the ice and put a pump into the pond and pump the water onto the pond but for some reason it seems like we take water out from underneath the ice and it tends to creak and crack and just doesn't quite seem right so we figured it'd be better by bringing the water down and put it on top but probably two loads would have been better but this will at least help out some tomorrow is actually supposed to be fairly warm and maybe it'll melt just enough to level it all out to make a nice skating rink. It took a lot more water than I thought it would. <laughs> it goes fast. Over it goes time. fast. I tried to get my coat on so I could stick my hand down there because it wants to curl up. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to see how it looks on Saturday morning, see it's gonna, if it's going to make a good skating for the people that are coming on Saturday. Everybody, it's Saturday morning and we have some sleigh rides to do today so I wanted to come down and check on the pond to see how our flooding worked and that worked quite well I'll show you that in a minute I just want to check the fire one more time we've got to go in and I just want to make sure it's got plenty of wood on it so the cabin is nice and toasty warm when our first rides show up today so I will show you the pond and we'll go back and hopefully we'll have a good day of sleigh rides since I was had to come out anyways to fill the fire, I decided to bring the roller out one more time and go around the fields. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.